But um, Job was very clear. He was following God, minding his business, loving Jesus. And these attacks just rained down on him, you know. And so, and there's no explanation per se, because usually like how we were saying earlier, I will tell people sometimes before an event or something big is happening, like with the podcast, God's putting this on you. This is something from God. And I was like, you don't expect this, you know. But as far as we know, I mean, kids were at a birthday party, you know, and they were all together at one house at a birthday party, you know. So uh, for Job, it wasn't like there was something big. I don't know if he had a big business project going up. We know he was a wealthy man, you know. Um, but it just seemed like, nah, he's just following God. And, and the attacks came strictly to, uh, like I was saying earlier, like to weaken his faith. And so uh, I think there are a lot of times, too, like, because that'll happen with my wife. There'll be some spiritual battles or wars raging. And then she'll begin searching herself, like, it's got to be sin in me. It's got to, you know, just how Job's friends did, bro. They said yeah. that, like, you sin. Yeah, you sin. It's got to be sin, bro. You sin, you know. Somewhere even, down the line. Uh, yeah, you know, and uh, what's the one? And uh, I think it's in John or whatever, when they all ask, because the man who was, uh, I think he was lame or whatever. And they said, well, whose sin was it? His mom or his dad, you know, mm-hmm. and he's like, oh, bro, it's just so God could be glorified. Get up, you know, like, <laughs> and so like, uh, yeah, I think too, that there's some of that as well that, um, yeah, it's like, yeah, that's why I'm like, oh, no, I wouldn't, especially like, you know, when you're following the Lord, you know, it, it's good to try to put a finger on something, try to get a pulse on Thing, you know, to find out, okay, it's this thing for me. I, I'll spiritualize in this area. I think there's something to be said, you know, in Romans 8, when he says, like, the spirit himself utters groanings on our behalf. Like, when we don't, you know, we don't know what to say and we don't uh, know what to do in those situations. So I think, you know, that's why I think a lot of times when the battle is raging and you're following God, you know, like, you know, of course, we got sin and that's how you're saying, you know, but it's like, hey, you're following God. You're not out here wilding. So it's like, you know, you know, you talk to God about it and just know the Holy Spirit is interceding on your behalf to the Father on this battle because he knows, he sees it, he knows what's really going down. 